Good afternoon, gardeners. It is currently 81 degrees here in the Sand Hills. You can hear the birds chirping. It's a little bit breezy today. The high is going to be 84 degrees, and I have so much work to do. I'm just feeling lazy. Do you ever feel that way sometimes? You know you have a laundry list of things to do, and you got to get it done. And it's just too gorgeous out here on this patio to do anything but just sit and do nothing. I had a bunch of errands to run this morning and it could be that I'm tired from doing that and then the thought of doing more work <laughs> is not that appetizing. But you know us, we're going to keep going no matter what, but I'm so tempted to not do a thing. Let me know in the comments if you get these those times where you just you know you got to get it done but you're like there is no way i'm doing it right now <laughs> it can wait until tomorrow or the next day or next week or next month even next year <laughs> anyway i hope you're having a pleasant day let me show you what i have to get done this this, this, I started all of these from seeds. These are mostly tomato plants. I do have some peppers and they need to get planted in the ground. I have some eggplant too down there. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I really don't want to do it, but I need to. I mean, I started these from seed in February. Can you believe that? February. It's so long that the ink has faded off of the containers. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But I started these February 2nd. And I babied these things. Taking them in the house, out of the house. My whole entire dining room was covered with plants. My husband was over it. And now I don't want to put them in the ground. You see a lot of them are gone. These trays were full. They were full. But I gave quite a few of these plants away. Why did I grow so many plants? And a lot of them were the same type of plants. Well, I always figured, oh, they might die. They may not make it. It's still winter time. And so you're stuck with a million plants. It feels like a million plants, but I've thinned it out quite a bit. And I wanted to grow all these different varieties of tomatoes this year. We're going to have tomatoes. We're going to have a tomato farm this year. <laughs> so I will get it done. They will not look like this for too much longer. When that will be, when will I get this done? I don't know. Over here are pepper plants, and I gave away quite a few of these, but I'm keeping these. And this one, is it this one? Let me see. This one, I use the paper towel method of germinating the seed, and look how it's doing just absolutely amazing I don't know what that is it's a mystery pepper this might be the same thing we'll see I'm gonna pot these guys up at some point oh, I gotta get out of this slump Let me know what motivates you to get your work done, get all your to-do lists, all the things that you need to get done in the day. What do you do? What motivates you to get your list done? I know the obvious is if you get it done, you don't have to worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> I get that, but I don't want to hear that. <laughs> what motivates you? What drives you 
to get your tasks done. And it's normal and it's quite okay for us to fall into these little slumps. And it could be that I'm just tired. I need more naps. <laughs> or, you know, you have your house things, things that's related to your house, your grocery shopping, cooking dinner, cleaning the house, doing laundry, straightening the bathroom, making sure it's clean, car stuff, being a chauffeur to your kids, so on and so forth. It wears you down, it wears you out. So, I gotta get my motivation. Let me know what you do to motivate yourselves and to getting your tasks done at hand. Perhaps I need a personal assistant. Wouldn't that be nice if we all got a personal assistant? Mine would be busy. <laughs> She may even quit, or he may even quit. Because <laughs> I have so many little things to do. But on a serious note, it would be nice to have a personal assistant, but we all can't do that. It's just not feasible. At least in my case, it's not. I am the personal assistant <laughs> and my phone. Where would we be without our handheld computers? because that's basically what it is. It's our lives. If we lose our phone, our life is totally placed on hold. But I'm curious to hear when you get in a slump, what do you do? Do you just let it ride? Do you just say tomorrow's another day? Or do you just say it'll get done? But I, I found one thing that motivates me. There's one thing that definitely motivates me is when your house is a mess and you've been meaning to put away all those papers that are laying on your kitchen counter, all the stuff that has no business being there, one thing that motivates me is when somebody's coming over to visit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you get your house spotless, everything, finds a home, you find a home for everything, or you throw stuff away, you dust in places you hadn't dusted in months <laughs> or years. <laughs> but nothing like somebody coming over to your house motivates you. So maybe that's the mindset I should have. Somebody's gonna come over and see my garden and do I want them to see it in the condition that I'm seeing it? <laughs> so, anyway, love to hear your thoughts on that. Hope you have a great day and get your trials and dig and find some motivation doing it. <laughs> Take care.